you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make use of your old Mac and make it into a wireless, not wireless, but other drive. See how I have two Macintosh HDs. That one's on a server and that one's on the local. Now this is my MacBook here. Uh, it's latest, no Firewire. And then this is the iMac I'm going to be using. It's an old iMac, 500 megahertz. Uh, and here's the Macintosh HD I'm sharing. So if you want to use, this has a 30 gig drive, at least 30 gigs free, it's a 45 gig drive, 30 gigs free, and I want to use it, it's running uh, Tiger, I'll show, I'll show you the specs, well I want to use this so I can save stuff to it, uh, I've already saved the movie and it took about 10 minutes to save on here, so it's not that bad, but sort of flickering there, uh, version 10.3.9, 500 megahertz power pc g3 768 megs of sd ram uh 10.3.9 it's running so that's tiger i suspect i'm not exactly sure but um that's the macintosh hd we're going to be sharing and today i'm going to show you how to do it so on this mac you want to start off on your old mac first press the apple logo go to system preferences then you want to click over here to sharing or wherever it is on your system preferences uh, you want to name it something that you'll know. You don't really have to, but yeah. You want to go down here to personal file sharing. I'll say I'm not in there. Uh, turn it on, check it, and then press start. And then once you do that, you're going to be sharing local things, but I'll show you how to get into your Macintosh HD. You want to go to network. Find your uh, the thing you're using. Let me show you. I'm not exactly sure how to. Oh, go to network. Uh, and then there would, there would be like either app, airport or ethernet. You want to click on your whatever you're using. Go to TCP slash IP. Sorry for the camera quality, by the way. Then you want to find your IP address. 192.168.1.1. Doesn't matter if I tell you guys because it's local. So once you have 192.168.1.1 or 101, whatever you have on yours you want to go over here to your regular Mac in this case I'm going to be ejecting this drive just so I'm not connecting just so I'm not connected go to finder go to go and go to connect to server or command K now uh, normally it would be blank like that and you want to type 192.168.1.1 101 now there is a thing here where every time you uh, turn on and off that Mac which I don't really turn on or off um, it's gonna sometimes change your it's gonna change your it's gonna change the IP address so you always want to make sure every time you turn it on or off you want to check the IP address of the other computer uh, the name is gonna be uh, as I was gonna tell you hold on you want to get the name of your of the person that's signed in here the admin you can't sign in if you're a guest so if you go to accounts this one's called iMac because it's just an example it's the iMac the password is zero even though it's got a bunch of letters there the password is zero short name is admin uh, it's administrator if you're a guest or standard it's not gonna work because once you connect it's gonna say it's not available to look at them so name is gonna be iMac and the password is going to be zero. And then remember this password in my keychain in case you don't turn it on or off. Connect. Now it's going to say, what do you want to get? The uh, admin folder or the Macintosh HD? Obviously, you're going to be running towards the Macintosh HD because it's going to give you full, um, full access. Press OK. You have a new Macintosh HD or whatever it's called on the other computer mounted. And then you can... Uh, uh, go through whatever you want so these are the applications it does take time because of how old the machine is and that the airport I have installed is a B it's a 802.11 B so it does take time uh, but I do realize that it's uh, mounted right there under shared under the finder window sorry it doesn't focus right um, connecting so here we are I think you can run towards admin you can mount it okay so yeah you've got like on the desktop if it loads 
Uh, this does work, so that doesn't always want to load. So there's like music. Say I have my music here, and let me show you that this is proof that it works. Uh, the first one I have in here is like Hero Temptations 8. And then on here, under Macintosh HD, if I go to music, music, Hero Temptations 8 is right there. And let me just, uh, again, show you that I'm not lying by putting a folder in here. New folder. Folder is going to be called uh, iMac 2000. Once it's there, uh, you got to hold on a second. I, th I don't think this is auto refresh. So I guess we're going to have to move a second. Music. iMac 2000 right there. So 31.74 gigs free, 31.09 just because they're not formatted the same way. Uh, the one thing I do not recommend you doing, especially on older machines, is do not use this as a time machine backup. Uh, because wireless isn't always the best way to do time machine backups. I mean, you could use it if you run a FireWire port. I mean, this is the iMac DV Special Edition or whatever. I'm not sure if that's 500 megahertz. I'm not exactly sure on all the models. But all I know is that this does not work for Time Machine Backup because the hard drive can't take it and because this is a 250 gigabyte hard drive and the other one is only 30. So other than that, that's how to get, that's how to use other people's, or how to use an older Mac as a server. And thanks for watching.